Welcome to Wild Kids. We're going to do a Your Toy Box unboxing today. These boxes are $25 a month. Um, and we're going to see what we got and whether or not it's worth it. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Alright. We're going to try to keep it a surprise. So, y'all want to get the first item? You get the first item. What a hell. First thing we got is... On the back it says Dick Tracy PVC. Who's that? So it's from a show called Dick Tracy. Now we're gonna do a we'll do a close up on this guy. So this is what he looks like close up. Not really much wear and tear. He looks pretty good. That's the Dick Tracy PVC. I'm gonna set him right over here. Alright, so now Alex, you get the next one. Is it the one? So we're gonna set we're gonna set Dill. There's a piece of paper. We're gonna set Dick Tracy over here. He's not gonna stand up. Yeah. Go ahead and pick. Alright. What did you get? Oh. What does it say? Yeah, I remember it bigger. That's one we actually don't have, isn't it? We do have him. Do we have him? No. The guy with the crystal? No, we don't have him. Oh, I'm not sure he's thinking about. He looks like the one guy we have, but we don't have him. That's oh, cool. Which one is this which one is this from? It's, it's from the the original. the original, the first one, yeah. And we have but swap he has force. Two different yeah, he, we have swap force, but this will still work for it. So this is what the uh, Skylander looks like. Pretty good shape, no he's wear and a tear. Earth type. Yep, he's the earth. He's an Earth type. It looks pretty good. We'll set him over here by Dick Tracy. He'll make a chill over there. Up. Hellboy Samurai. I don't know, I'm not too familiar with the Hellboy franchise here. I'll help you out. Wait, go. Hellboy? Yeah, it's from yeah. Hellboy, but I'm not too familiar with how to pronounce his name properly. Okay. It's okay if you tear the bag. It's so this is what he looks like. If I can get it to focus here. Pretty neat. It comes with a stand. And he has blood on it. Yeah, he has blood on it. 2004. Ooh. Yeah, he's pretty neat. It'll be neat to uh, set him up on a shelf in you guys' room. Set him over there with all the rest. All right, Alex. Would you like to pick? Yeah. I'm going to get this stuff out of here. It's in the way. I want this one. All right. Whoa. What's he say on the back? He says Robin, Robin Hood. Hood figure. Robin Hood. So he's some guy from Robin Hood. Yeah, he's, he's a little older. He moves. He doesn't have the knee and elbow joints you like, but he still moves. So, so this is what he looks like. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. No wear and tear for as old as he is. I'll set him over here with all the rest. Okay, and let me make sure I think we got a couple more small ones. Let me get them to the front. All right. I'm moving to the front. This is the last one. Ooh. Power Ranger. Mega Blocks Power Ranger. I think Jackson, uh, your little brother, will really like the Lego minifigures, too. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm too. I've never seen a uh, Power Ranger. Power Ranger one. The Power Rangers Lego minifigure. Oh, <laughs> dropped him on his head. Pretty good, good shape, good shape. I don't see anything, no scuffs. I mean, he's got one little scuff on the back of his neck, but that's to be expected. Cool beans. <laughs> All right, last little guy, Alex. That's a big guy. It's at the front, right here. Oh, another minifigure. It just says Lego minifigure. Oh. Isn't that the guy? Isn't that a guy from Lego Movie? Yeah. Everything is awesome. Alright, he's pretty cool. He's got a 
chunk of dynamite in his hand. So this is what Lego minifigure guy looks like. I think he's from the Lego movie. I could be wrong. But he looks good. Cool. We'll set him over there with everybody Last else. One. So we got two for one here. He's got just hold that down there for a minute. Yeah. So he got a Ben 10 minifigure. Alex, we're, we're not looking at this. I just saw him. So. No, I don't know his name, but I know he's the master of Ben. He's the Ben 10 guy. Pretty good condition. Cute little guy. I think my four-year-old will really like that. So then the last item is That's not the <laughs> It's a Stargate uh, guy. He's the ruler of Abydos. He's got a collectible alien spaceship artifact and a shooting pharaoh gun. Contains small parts which may pose a choking hazard for children under the age of three. That's it. You guys can't play with it. Just kidding. This is what he looks like in the package. And the uh, back of the package looks like this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, we're going to open it. Oh, you want to see the back? I want that guy. Daniel Jackson. Uh, I never watched Stargate, no. so I'm not sure about these guys at all. Buffalo Man. Buffalo Man. That's yeah. mass Mustache. I don't know how to say that name. Stargate fans, forgive us. Alright, so... Get him open. Here's his pharaoh gun with his uh, bullets, which I'm putting in the wrong way. Which obviously I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's so sticky. Yeah. It's like they just got painted. Is it? Well, it's like it seems like the uh, paint might have melted over the years, and his helmet is really very sticky. It's a uh, removable. Ew, he's bald. So that's good. This is really sticky, like it's covered in syrup, almost. In a minute. But so, uh, we got Pharaoh here, and his pyramid. So this is what Pharaoh looks like. He's, um, he's in really good shape, except for the fact that his helmet is so sticky. Like, you can, you can even see the, the sheen of whatever it is all over my fingers. So I'm definitely going to have to wash my hands after handling him. Maybe if we wash his helmet real good, it'll... Or his headdress, whatever it's called. This is the artifact. Trying not to get it sticky, too. This came with him as well. I'm not really sure what that goes to it's quite yet. Staff. That staff. Is that a staff? Yes. All right. Well, maybe that's staff. And then here's a bullet to his gun and his gun. I want to on. And his gun is right here. And, uh, that's that. Uh, my latest wants to shoot the cameraman. And he hit the cameraman. So that worked out well. Now I want to shoot the cameraman. I don't know how to do this. After that's my turn. And we don't have any bullet. Oh, there's a bullet. This is going to be fun shooting the camera, man. I don't think it's like that. Sit down. <laughs> Got the camera. <laughs> Sorry, audience. Alright, so uh, that's that. What do you guys think? Do you think this was worth $25? Yep. I think it's the mystery of it. I think that uh, some of the toys are garage sale quality, which is to be expected when you're ordering a box such as this. Um, Wait, this guy is Robin. So, <laughs> we got some, some, some neat stuff. Not necessarily stuff that correlated with the interests we checked off on the interest list, but... Uh, the kids are happy, so I'm happy. So I think, yeah, I think it's worth it. I think uh, some enjoyable stuff. I think I think the uh, the appeal is behind the surprise of getting a box every month and not really knowing what's in it. And as you can see, they're already playing with the toys. So 
obviously I say money well spent. Thanks for watching. So please subscribe. Yo!